All right, uh, I, I was just about finished here. Uh, then I remember that uh, a couple of hours ago, uh, we had uh, an interesting conversation uh, around Gnome shell extensions. Um, so let me introduce the problem. Uh, I know some people like to uh, use extensions, some people doesn't. Uh, let's go to Gnome extensions uh, in Google. Let's see. Well, it's not exactly the fastest thing. So GNOME shell extensions. Here we go. Okay, so let's install the browser extension as you would uh, normally. So. All right, continue. Add. That checks out. Let's refresh. And yes, yeah, so what this is referring to is this Chrome, Gnome extension, something, something that you have to have installed essentially on the, the system. So I'm just going to go ahead and try and open the terminal. Uh, here again <coughs> just like that so I'm going to pose the size and I think it's yes chrome chrome shell so I'm going to just uh, list out uh, the, the packages uh, we have installed and I'm going to say chrome gnome shell Yep, <clears throat> and there we have it. it. It is installed. However, uh, here it is saying it's not installed. Uh, reason for that because yet again, Firefox uh, in this case is a containerized application. It's a flat pack, so it's not going mm -hmm. to uh, be able to access to the system, uh, which is a normal behavior. Um, I'm just going to show you real quick more like a bonus that how you can get around this uh, problem basically so let's say uh, you want to have this removable drive menu installed this is an extensions fairly usable I guess uh, otherwise it wouldn't be here um, so what we can do is either compile it from source uh, which uh, yeah let's not do that uh, or we can just download it so what I'm going to say is download it. Uh, first of all, let's check our grown version. I'm pretty sure it's 41, but uh, just in case if you are in doubt, uh, here we go. That's the grown version, it's uh, 41. So I'm going to select shell version to 41. Uh, the extension version, latest, I suppose. And we're going to uh, get this extension downloaded, just like that. That was it all. So I'm not even uh, really going to bother with this anymore. <coughs> so what I want to do is extracting this. And mm -hmm. if you open the folder, there is a metadata the JSON in it. So you want to open that. Look for the UUID. And this will take a hot second. Yeah, there we go. Uh, sure enough, there is the UUID. What you want to do is uh, copy the contents of that UUID out, go back, rename this folder with this exit name, what you've been copied out, and just rename it. There we go. Boom. Done. So from here, what you want is a couple of things. So uh, I'm pretty sure I don't have extensions installed to manage uh, the extensions, or I do, which is awesome. Oh no, that's not it. I do have tweaks, I've seen their tweaks, so that's good. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, just quickly get into TU kit 
I'm going to say continue because I have no idea uh, on which snapshot we are, so we can continue uh, from wherever we left it. And I would like to uh, execute uh, a bash shell. So from here, I'm going to use zipper to search for, I think it's called Chrome extensions. Uh, I can be really wrong. Um, but I think uh, this is the name of the package that you can install and uh, and uh, manage uh, the different extensions installed on the machine. Now, uh, GNOME, GNOME tweaks uh, are definitely didn't install, so it comes uh, out of the box. Uh, GNOME extensions, however, not, and I was uh, I was actually right. So I'm just going to install this real quick. Uh, not an awful lot. You will be fine. There are a couple of things what you will need for the system. Uh, you should probably install those as RPM. Uh, again, uh, th this is slightly different. Uh, you could try installing this in Toolbox, but I'm pretty sure that's a bad idea and it wouldn't work super reliably. So yeah, you can give it a go just for you know jokes and stuff, uh, but I wouldn't uh, hold my breath. So before we reboot, uh, because we would have to log out anyway, um, I'm quickly going to check where do I really put this because uh, I'm really good at remembering paths. Uh, so where we put this is I'm just going to copy it on the clipboard. I'm going to show the all the hidden files. And we go to local share uh, gnome shell, and there are no extensions here. So nothing scary. You just say extensions. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So yeah, I'm just double checking myself, and then you just uh, copy over here uh, the extensions that you uh, would like to use. So. Uh, right after this, I'm um, just going to uh, reboot the system so uh, we will have access to the extensions applications real quick. <coughs> okay, I really should have taken out the disk, but c'est vie. And this is a relatively quick one. Back we go, right about now. Okay, so now we should have extensions, right? So if I open extensions, we should have that extension. Sure enough, this manually installed, you can see that it's, uh, it's separating it. You have manually installed and you have built-in. So these built-ins, I quite frankly, don't bother with much. Uh, however, uh, this manually installed what we just did here, I can just flip a switch and sure enough, right there is the, the open is a micro SD DVD, what I was just complaining about, that I forget to remove. That's how uh, simple it is to, to get GNOME shell extensions that you care about installed on micro OS and uh, get it running. Hope that helped.